Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again for some more foundation and uh, things seem to be coming along here with our uh, little forestry increase over here and we got a forester over there sadly enough who's going to be having to run all the way down here to, to reforest stuff but I'm going to probably place a new one down this way at some point. Mm, yeah, probably right in around here somewhere. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. But for now, uh, he's going to do the work. Once we buy up this plot of land, he'll make that into a heavy forestry department over there. Uh, so today we're going to try to see if we can't get into this zone here. I've been looking at things and I think our next bet is next best bet is to go over this way and try to get connected with this iron because we have the ability to use where are they iron mine iron smelter blacksmith so we can start building our own tools and uh, there doesn't seem to be any new buildings available for us after this so i think at this point it's just trying to the next major goal is to try to get uh things going like coal coal and iron smelting so that we can get some tools made for ourselves and we'll see if that's uh, enough to kind of get a first look at things, but I'm not sure how far we want to go. You guys let me know if you're, uh, if people are still watching and enjoying, then I guess we'll uh, keep playing. Now, uh, zone-wise, we have 2,400 bucks. We can definitely go ahead and get a new territory. So let's buy up this one here. That'll be good. And I'm going to buy this one over here as our forestry and this one as some more farming. So let's go ahead and uh, tend to those. That's enough for territory. You can stop that nonsense. All right, so first thing we're going to do is expend, expend, uh, extend our growing area here like this. I'm actually going to delete this one, I think, and let them grow this area like so. We're going to come over here. We're going to build another farm. Uh, actually, leave that extraction zone on. Oh, apparently I can't do that. Display development zones. There we go. Uh, we're going to put a farm in. That's the farm like this. And with another one in over here. Good. That should be enough to actually get those going a little better. Kind of want to put another one right tucked in here. So let's do that and let's actually cut back the uh, farming tile zone right in his face. Now I want this cut out, this forested out. So I'll go ahead and put an extraction zone in here to clear out the trees in that area. And we can also clear out these trees in this area. All right, good. And some more uh, expansion is going to have to happen off this way as well. I would like an extraction line to run straight through here. And take care of what I think I remember being the area where these resources are, yes. Sort of. Ish. Terrible. Terrible lay layout. Uh, that was very wrong. So, I'm going to do that again. This area is going to be our forestry zone. And we will run these ones off. A little path like this. Oops. There we go. And I would actually like you to take this off of being an extraction zone for the moment. Scratchy, scratchy, scratch. Wipe those off. That's not important extraction zone for the moment. Because I want them to prioritize clearing out the space towards the mine. And we'll also remove this extraction zone. Because I want that guy to take care of things. And remove this permanently there. I want this guy to take care of stuff over here. probably going to house in this area, farm in this area, so let's clear this whole space of lumber eventually. Built the farmhouse there. Thank you guys. Good job. Let's 
kick the speed up again and keep things rolling. So we got two foresting zones here. And this is going to be there where the foresters keep our trees full for the time being. We can actually go with a uh, reforestation zone in here as well. So I want you to kind of keep that nicely stocked with trees. And we'll round this one out. Oh, we can't. That's not in our territory. We can make that part of our territory. Let's do that. Okay, shut off the territory. Bye. Go back over here and make this a reforestation space. All right. So that zone is going to be where we make and do our tree cutting. Extraction can happen here. Here. Just the tree there, please. Snip off some of these, lovely, and clean out the stuff. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, how are we doing? More villagers come. We're at 68. Two newcomers, 16 serfs, 30 citizens. There, those guys instantly became serfs. And some more bourgeoisie are finished, or joining us. Looks like we're making our path here. Let's shut off that uh, grid, because it's kind of graphically annoying. There you go, you're building the... the walkway i like it we can actually i want it a little bit extracted on the other side then as well please one oops wonderful he's going to keep four there or she i think that's jane if i recall correctly oh the next thing we we're going to have is our mining we'll do the smelting mining sort of stuff down this way so we're going to want to extend our housing down there. We also want to have housing come out this way. We can have houses in here. Can we do that? Do we have enough clothes? Uh, not a lot. We don't have a lot of clothing. Is that because these guys are not weaving fast enough? Or what? Do we have... We don't have stockpiles of sheep. Or of uh, clothes. Uh, actually, we probably do. It's probably all stocked in here, right? Nope, we don't have a lot of wool sitting around. So let's get some more turf over here. Expand this one. We can just kind of buy land at will now. That's how, that's how good we're doing here. Uh, sheep farms. I'm going to uh, farm up this area with sheep. Oops, sheep farm again. I clicked the wrong button. Again, I clicked the wrong button. There we go. We can be kind of willy-nilly with our placing of these things. Make them look... And uh, au naturel. Wonderful. <laughs> so triple sheep might help nicely. And then I think uh, we're going to start doing some decorative bushes and such around here. I want to make kind of a new neighborhood. So we'll put some housing right along this line. Let's remove... Uh, no, the houses can build, I suppose. They'll probably build right over stuff, right? I think the houses build right over things. Let's add to the residential on here. Um, like that. Let them build some houses along this side of the nice, pretty path. We're going to prettify this area as well. I think we'll make a road kind of come out this way. In behind the sheep farms. Let's do that. So you can uh, residential, uh, how do we do that? If I go and put decorative trees, say along here, no, not quite. I want them to go, that's not where I want them at all. Remove that. I want it to be a little further down so that our roads build a bit differently. Decorative trees down here. And then we'll make some, a little meadow. This can be the glen. Bam, 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 like that. flower up the area see where they build their actually I wonder if that's going to interrupt their housing 
probably, if I put houses, try to put houses in there, they probably won't place them on the decorative flowers, I bet. Went a little overboard there, guys. Went a little overboard. Okay, and if I do this, and then I say, you can have a residential zone, and it's going to run right here. Like that. Good, see if we can get some housing going in that area. Just start, uh, or do I want that? Kinda wanna stay centralized. But this, these guys have a lot of running to do if they're going to be gathering things like stone from miles away. New villager, 74 now. That's excellent. So this has been developed decently. Can we spin you around? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be making much of a path there, guys. you gotta, you got to walk more aggressively. It's a little strange. Um, this building is going to be important. Let's see about an iron mine. Where can we make you? Well, let's put up, pull up the zone for desirability of iron. There we go. And uh, you're going to be what? Oh, I see how that works. It's just kind of a little entrance here. Let's put one like that. And we'll put another one right in. Like, oh, that is that stone? Oh, no, that's iron. Ha! <laughs> Didn't realize that. It's an actual spot on the ground. Look at that right there. See that? Looks like that's a gathering location. Interesting. Okay. Let's prioritize these buildings here, please. Man, you are going pretty, pretty wild on the tree cut. Look at him. There he goes. Build me a construction site. This is the iron mine, the first iron mine that will go in. Aaron is assigned to construct here. How about over here? Herman is assigned to construct here. Good job, team. Now, hopefully that will build a road that will run down this way. I'm thinking it probably will. You can shut off the iron zone here. Or not, apparently. I have to click the, the other button. Right, there we go. That one looks like it's going to dig right into the rocks. I love it. There's our path forming nicely. Excellent. Foresters must be very light-footed. Really thickened up the trees around there, didn't they? Okay, so the farm is not housed they're not populated that was the problem there good so now we got some farmers they'll get to work over here we are going to need the houses to come in here we this continue uh, this the residential rather to continue up this way Like that. Let's make some nice decorative trees along that line. Where's those zones, please? Um, right like this. There we go. Boost the desirability of the area. And residential desirability. There we go. We have the residential zone in there. Yes, we do. Villagers upgrading their house. There is still just two people living in these houses, right? Yep. Desirability is high. Love it. There's some... Uh, one villager leaving due to unhappiness. What? What? Why are you unhappy? I don't understand. Uh-oh. Somebody help me. Why's my people's unhappy? Because they're traveling 63 million miles and not getting any berries? Maybe. Maybe that's the thing. Uh, do we have free workers? As in available workers. Yes, we do. Lots of them. And that's another person that just left. Okay. So we're going to need to increase our supplies here. I want to delete this building, please. We have foresters elsewhere that can take care of the job. You're going to forest there. You're going to forest up there. Do we have foresters? Yeah, we got lots of wood supplied right now. Let's check the tree extraction zones. Looks like they've taken care of that nicely. 
I want to put in a uh, reforestation area up behind here. All up and behind this hill is great, and we'll extract from that region as well. Yoink. There you go. Good job, guys. You'll you'll clear that out nicely for us. Villagers are still leaving because of unhappiness, and I think that's uh, an issue with not having enough berries. Berry stock is always seems to be low here, so let's put in another um, another gathering camp to gather us some more berries. Uh, put one there. We'll probably put another one right in by the mill here there lovely all right so we'll up that supply somewhat but a part of it is going to be housing and i think some of them are having issues because let's look at this person fergie where do you work well you're just living there you're a surf you have a job Merg. did i just pick the one person that doesn't have a job um what is your job does it show here It doesn't. You don't seem to have a job. Can you be a mine? Oh, there you go. What are you doing? Looking to fill your needs. Going to the market. Okay. You don't have. What are you doing? Filling your needs. Going back to your house. Okay. So apparently, I picked somebody who doesn't have a job. That's great. Uh. A woodcutter. There you are. You're a woodcutter. Aren't you? Oh, that's Yvette. Mergy, see, that's the problem. I think this is Mergy is down. Uh, that's not down here. So Yvette is a woodcutter living here, probably working over here. Yep, you are. Okay, so that's going to be part of our problem. I think I might have to fix that. <laughs> so how do we do that? We could go and individually fiddly bits every one of these people and say, okay, you're there, you work there, you work there. But I have another idea. We're going to find out by next episode if this idea was utter craziness or if it works. I'm going to shut off all the workers on all the buildings and see how long it takes everybody to starve. That's not actually what I'm doing. I'm shutting these off and I think that'll kick them all out of the jobs. Uh, you know what? Probably won't. I'll probably have to actually go through the list and tell them all to not have jobs. So I think this is just kicking them out of a specific job. Uh, let's see if that refills. Okay, market gatherers, we have three of them, and I told them all to leave their jobs. Let's run the time for a moment. Nope, no villager assigned, no villager assigned. And you should have no villager assigned soon as well. Right? Yeah, nobody's reassigning to there. Okay, so. Job-wise, do we have a bunch of people who now have no jobs? Yes. Good. Okay, that's going to work. I think. We're going to unassign all the workers from all the jobs and tell them all to be unemployed. And then we will go through and reassign their jobs in priority sequence, which hopefully will give people the jobs that are nearest. I'm hoping. That farm was never assigned. Great. Those three had people assigned, but these didn't have spawns. There, we can spawn some more here. Spawn some more here. Good. Weavers, you can stop weaving as well. I don't know if people actually train in particular jobs. Let's see. Our Jane here, are you actually really good at this? Like it looks, yeah, it looks like you're level one. See, like see level zero, level one. I think that will make a difference in their, I assume that at some point, if not already, that that would make a difference in their effectiveness in the job. See, Claude here should be a baker. Yeah, he's a well-trained baker, it seems. And so is Ricard. But we will remove those two from the job as well. Is that everybody off the work? 
Oh no, we've got we still got sawmill people working. How are we doing on boards? We're doing decent. We have 64 of them. They definitely have a supply of all the stuff they need. We didn't ever populate those two, I think. Nope, nope, and nope. Uh, we, yeah, stone cutters. We did. We unchecked you as well. Uh, you get off the job. You guys all need to get off your job. Okay. Now I think everybody should be unemployed now, right? There should be nobody working anywhere, if I've done this correctly. Come on, I can't seem to click on that spot. There we go. Looks like we did this correctly. So let's see if we can get a reaction out of these people. Everybody should be pretty bored right now. Nothing to do. What a boring town. Nobody. Hey. Stop it. Stop working. Hey, I said stop working. You're still working. Man, you guys are diligent. I got fired, but I just got to keep going. I just got to finish. We got builders left over, and that's it. And I think we will... Does the builders... Yeah, the builders will matter. So you guys are going to have to go no job as well. Because their living location is going to matter. We'll shut off all the builders. And... Really, only maybe three or four builders should be enough to keep up with the growth, as long as it doesn't go wildly crazy. But right now, our priority is going to be to make sure that... Uh, let's see, Aaron, you shut your job off. And you're still showing a high-level bar in that department. Villagers left. Yeah, well, that's going to happen. Ah, Edward already had the builder job too. Interesting. So nobody has assigned any jobs. We got people uh, walking out the door, but I'm okay with some of them leaving because they don't understand the importance of this change. We are run out of time. So it, what we're going to do is we're going to assign everybody at the beginning of next episode based on their priorities. So if we go and say this guy here and assign somebody, what will happen is it'll choose somebody, hopefully, that lives nearby. Let's see, Victoria. Where are you, Victoria? Let's follow you for a moment. Look at Jack. Look at that. Victoria lives right next door. I bet you Victoria didn't live. The, the Victoria wasn't a uh, transporter before. Oh, she won. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be what we'll do with all the crew, and we'll get everybody sorted real quick here, and get them assigned to very highly efficient jobs in further locations and hopefully that'll shift some of the population from the core here that deals with things like the food will be high priority get them working on gathering rather than spending all their time running to and from their houses and other things centralized city with the suburbs versus small little patches one of the comments we got recently was hey build up kind of little sub towns around all of these gathering areas or different satellite areas so that is another way to do it. I think this one is going to uh, be how we're going to test it first. Shove them all in their new jobs based on location to priority. So we'll see how that works out. Let me know what you think about this. Guys, I've not tried this before, so you're uh, getting my guinea pig action here and see if this works. But as always, we'll see you in game.